Desi Arnaz Jr. should count himself lucky to call Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz his mother and father. But even though he was born into wealth and fame, life hasn't always been particularly easy for him. As most folks are already aware, Arnaz Jr.'s parents rose to fame starring in their wildly popular and groundbreaking sitcom, I Love Lucy. The couple played Lucy and Ricky Ricardo. Lucy would routinely scheme behind her husband's back, but something would always go awry, inspiring a great deal of hilarity that audiences couldn't get enough of. Some of the most memorable scenes in TV history played out on the show's soundstage, including the infamous Chocolate Factory episode. I Love Lucy ran from 1951 to 1957 and won five primetime Emmys. Fortunately, the show has been running in syndication ever since, so fans can watch the show's reruns on a number of different networks. This, of course, means that Lucy and Ricky's antics will live on pretty much indefinitely. Lucille and Desi were married for 20 years and welcomed two children into the world while they were together, Lucy Arnaz and Desi Arnaz Jr. They ended up filing for divorce in 1960. The couple may have had their problems and they certainly had plenty of high and low points throughout both their personal and professional lives, but it's pretty safe to say their split broke hearts across the globe. But even though Desi Arnaz Jr. grew up in incredible privilege, he struggled greatly throughout his life. Stay tuned to find out how. The Tragic Death of His Wife Acting was always something that was in Desi Arnaz Jr.'s blood. After all, his parents were two of the most iconic entertainers of their generation. So it's not all that surprising he would follow in their footsteps. He starred in his first, yet uncredited, role when he was just four years old, playing a young spectator in his parents' show. Just a few years later, he had a recurring role in The Lucy Show from 1962 to 65. In 1970, he had a small part on an episode of The Brady Bunch, then followed that up by guest starring in a few episodes of The Love Boat. In total, Arnez Jr. has 38 credits under his belt. He's also taken on a production role behind the camera on two occasions. In 1987, he married Amy Arnaz and made a home for themselves in Boulder City, Nevada, where they lived for most of their lives. They had one daughter together, Haley Arnaz. They were both avid followers of Vernon Howard, a New Age spiritual guru and philosopher who started the New Life Foundation in Boulder City. While Desi and Amy enjoyed a long and happy marriage, Amy was sadly diagnosed with a brain tumor in 2013 and passed away two years later in 2015. She was just 63 years old. She passed away four days after Desi's 62nd birthday. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Desi Jr.'s Identity Issues and Struggle with Addiction Arnez Jr. struggled with addiction and alcoholism for most of his life. According to the book Desi Lou, the story of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, the actor felt an enormous amount of pressure to live up to his parents' expectations. The stress of that constant battle is apparently what led him to abuse drugs and booze in the first place. In the book, he mentions that the first time he ever felt jealousy was when he was three years old and went to visit his parents on the set of I Love Lucy. He was super confused because he wasn't sure why he wasn't the one chosen to play their son. Because of that, he developed a major identity issue. And it didn't help that people routinely referred to him as Little Ricky, a name he would eventually resent. Not only was he struggling with identity issues, but he also developed a bit of an inferiority complex. All he ever wanted was to be better at something than the boy that played Little Ricky. For the longest time, it felt to him like everything in his life was connected to little Ricky. It was infuriating. He began to abuse drugs when he was just a teenager. He used to pay off doctors to get prescription narcotics. Everyone around him, especially his mom, saw what was happening and urged him to get help, but he wouldn't receive any sort of wake-up call until he was 25. When doctors showed him scans of his brain showing what drugs had done to him, they broke the news that his brain looked like that of a 60-year-old. He couldn't deny the science. For the first time, he was finally able to admit he had a problem. Of course, addiction is a lifelong battle, but Arnez Jr.'s life greatly improved once he was finally able to confront his addiction honestly. 
Desi Jr.'s first short marriage. Desi was previously married long before he met Amy. He and Matlock star Linda Pearl were briefly married from 1980 to 81. According to an article he wrote for Women's Day magazine in 1991, his mother, Lucille Ball, gave them her blessing before they tied the knot. But ultimately, it was his stubbornness and drug problem that led to their relationship falling apart. In the same article, Arnez Jr. shared that by the time he had turned 18, he'd already tried LSD, mescaline, cocaine, quaaludes, and marijuana. But by the time he was 23, his drug problem was so out of control, he could no longer maintain any of his relationships. Desi also shared an experience about the time he reached a breaking point while staying at a hotel in Vegas a year after his divorce. He felt completely empty and depleted. His marriage had just recently unraveled, and he'd gone on a three-day drug bender, hoping it would help ease his loneliness. But of course, it didn't work as he hoped. He knew at that moment chemicals would never be able to bring him lasting happiness. If he wanted a life worth living, he was going to have to get clean and change his ways. At 29, he felt like he was already dying, not just physically, but also spiritually. Fortunately, there is a bright side about this dark chapter in his life. At least he and Pearl were able to remain on good terms after the split. Desi Jr. became a father when he was a teenager. It's not exactly a secret that Desi had a pretty rough childhood, and his teenage years were equally turbulent. The young star had a strong interest in the opposite sex from a very young age. He became sexually active when he was just 13 and ended up getting a girl pregnant when he was 15. Desi Jr. and model Susan Howe had a brief fling resulting in a child that Susan ended up naming Julia. For quite some time, Desi Jr. tried to act like he wasn't the girl's father, but a paternity test in 1990 proved that Arnez was indeed her father. After discovering he was her dad, Desi Jr. and Julia rekindled their relationship. Desi ended up paying for his daughter's college education, and when she too fell into substance abuse problems, he paid to send her to rehab several times. Tragedy struck on September 27, 2020, when Julia's daughter, Desiree Anzalone, lost her battle with stage 4 breast cancer. She was just 31 years old. He was a womanizer. In a 1978 interview with People magazine, a 25-year-old Desi Jr. admitted to being what he called a playboy in his younger years. Sources close to him suggest he was under the false illusion that he was in love since he was 13, but really, he was full of lust. Maybe it's true about the apple not falling far from the tree because Desi Arnaz Sr. was often depicted as a womanizer by the media. In fact, Lucille almost divorced him on numerous occasions before she finally went through with the separation in 1960. Not only could Desi Sr. not seem to be able to keep his hands off women, he was also known to become volatile and violent whenever he would drink. Sadly, it seems this too was another issue Desi Jr. inherited from his father. Arnez Jr.'s womanizing tendencies got a lot of media attention, partly because he was in the spotlight from such a young age, and partly because of the famous women he managed to bed. He was rumored to be involved with such big names as Kim Darby, Tina Sinatra, Patty Duke, and Liza Minnelli. Desi Arnaz Jr.'s last film credit was in 1992's Mamba Kings, in which he actually played his father, Desi Arnaz Sr. He left Hollywood not long after and relocated to Boulder City, Nevada, to live out the rest of his life out of the spotlight. Fame had cost him too much. He was finally ready to settle down. He still lives there and tries to keep himself out of trouble. Since his wife's passing in 2015, he's kept a low profile. What's your favorite memory of Desi Jr.? Let us know in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.